This video we are installing macOS Sonoma, which is the latest version of the macOS. We are installing it on Windows 11, but this also works for Windows 10 too. We are going to use VMware Workstation Pro, which is free for personal use. We'll download the ISO file of the Sonoma and we'll install it in a virtual machine. It's gonna be very easy, we don't even need any script or anything. We'll just create a virtual machine and start the, directly the installation. And also we'll fix the graphics of the macOS so it looks good, smooth and clean. So let's get straight into this video. You have to go to some links to download the software, so you can find all the links in the description. First one is VMware Workstation link, just go ahead and click on this one. You have to make sure you have an account, so if you don't have one, just click on login and register. But I have one, so I will log in. So here make sure to choose VMware Workstation Pro or Windows personally use and choose the latest version. And here just click on this download icon and this will start a download directly here. I have already installed VMware Workstation so I'm not going through the setup again. But just go through setup and make sure to choose use VMware Workstation for personal use because this one is free. Then after going through step to the setup just click finish and it will be good. The next thing is to go to this link in the GitHub and it will download a VMware Unlocker. So just click on this small download icon and this will download an unlocker zip. So just double click to unlock and open this program. This is a program that is going to unlock the option to install macOS in VMware Workstation. To do that, just click on this button patch and this loading bar will go until the end and it will successfully unlock macOS 14 for VMware Workstation. Then after that, you have to go to this link to download Sonoma ISO image. Click on download here on Google Drive and click on download anyway. This will start to download the zip file of ISO. It's about 14 gigabytes, so it'll take some time. After it's finished, just go ahead and unzip the file and inside you should have a Sonoma ISO image. This is what we need to install the Mac OS. So let's start the installation. Open VMware Workstation, click create a new virtual machine, which is typical. Next. Here choose I will install operating system later. Now as you can see we have option Apple Mac OS and also you have the version 14 here. Make sure to choose this one and next. I will call it just Mac OS. So that this size 80 gigabytes is good. It will work perfect for you. Next. Now we'll click on customize hardware. On the memory RAM you have to choose the maximum that you can. I have a 16 gigabytes RAM RAM, so I'll choose about 10 gigabytes. But don't go in the maximum because this will overwhelm your computer. In the processors, I have a 16 core CPU processor, so I'll choose about 12 or 8. So I think 8 is good. Then here on the CD or DVD, make sure to choose use ISO image. Click on browse and choose the Sonoma ISO that we downloaded. Open. Then the other settings here, USB sound, display are okay. So we can just close this. Then click finish. Now just power on this virtual machine. Okay. And in a few seconds, it will start the setup. Now the installation setup is open, choose your language. Here you have to open first disk utility, continue. Then right click on VMware hard drive and click on erase. I'll put a name Mac OS and click on erase. Click on done. Then you have to quit disk utility, so quit disk utility. Then install Mac OS Sonoma. Continue, continue again, then click on agree, agree. Here choose the hard disk that we just erased and the installation will start immediately. You just have to wait for some minutes and we'll get back. Okay, now installation is finished and you can see that select country or region. Just go ahead and choose your country and click on continue. Now you can customize your keyboard. I'll leave it English US, so click on continue. Here are some accessibility settings, but I'll click not now, continue. If you want to migrate data, you click on here from Windows PC if you want, but I'll click not now. Okay, here you can put your Apple ID, but I'll set up later. Skip, agree with terms and conditions, agree, put your full name, put a password and continue. You can enable location service, but I'll click on continue. Click done use. Here you can select your time zone. I'm going to disable this share Mac analytics with Apple screen time I will set up later you can go with dark mode if you want continue and he, okay and here you have Mac OS so before using as you can see it's very laggy and if I go to the Apple icon and click on about this Mac here we can see the display graphics are only three megabytes we are going to fix this problem and I will have faster and greater graphics so here on VMware if you see this you can see install tools but if you don't see this window here you can go to VM and click install VMware tools but I'll click here install tools and if you click install it will show you this operation gonna be proceed because your Mac OS is using CD or DVD what we have to do we have to eject the disk from inside of the guest and retry again go here and and shut down the guest virtual machine shut down then click edit virtual machine settings and click on use the physical drive auto detect and OK then just power on again OK And now go to the VM menu again and click on install VMware tools and you'll see this window here. Just double click on install VMware tools and we'll open this setup. Click on continue, continue 
install put your password install software click on allow so now it shows extension is blocked so open system settings and here you will see system software from developer vmware was blocked so you have to click on allow and put the password unlock and we can try the installation again from the beginning continue continue install put the password install software allow and now it's successfully installed so we have to restart our computer click on restart okay now as you can see we have a better resolution and also we have a full screen and now we can click on view and we can, and we can enter full screen as you can see so put your password to unlock okay so we have successfully installed mac os sonoma and if i go to mac you can see that now we have a graphics on 128 megabytes and mac os sonoma 14.3 Okay guys, this was the video for today. Hopefully you like it. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.